Hello, this is Chiak. We are back with Dangan Ropa Trigger Happy Havoc Dangan Academy, which uh, apparently there are four or three more of these robots to go for. I don't know if I'm going to do this. I'm not sure if I'll be able to do this in this set purely just <laughs> how I am feeling with my back. <laughs> but either way, everyone's back. What day is it today? I can't even remember. We have school. It's school time. It's free time. So, question is, who do I talk to? Now then. Okay. So I did. Maybe Chihiro again. Let's try Chihiro again. Well. I do have still have trip tickets, right? Can't remember what I said I was gonna do prior set. I need three trip tickets. I have nothing to give her in terms of presents, so guard dining hall, rec room. Have I been? I don't know if I went to the rec room with her. Here we are at the rec room. There's all kinds of games and stuff to do in here. Almost makes me feel like I'm not in school. Okay, I really don't need to read that stuff. They have some computer magazines here. Do you believe in horoscopes and stuff? Okay. I mean... Here's the thing, like, if I try to... I feel like every single person that I've tried to ally with their interests. It's like, no, I don't want to read that. Or for all I know, the magazine stuff is outdated. Is that a slot machine back there? So far, the slot machine has worked every time. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's because my instinct says, oh, Chihiro likes computers. Let's talk to maybe the computer magazine, but then my previous experience with always like, oh, let's talk about, well, Junko doesn't count because she's not really Junko, so therefore the fashion wouldn't have her interest. Because for all I know, like, these computer magazines are outdated and they're not going to work. Huh? You're right, there is. I never tried it before. Do you like stuff like that, Makoto? Um... I'm not dying to try, but if you want to give it a shot... Yeah, okay. So maybe the computer magazine was the way to go. Uh, um... I feel um, really drained. Oh, oopsie, skipped it. Okay. <laughs> Either way, we failed. I don't need to read about it. Uh -oh. Okay. A holiday? Yes, indeed! Now... <laughs> Well, <laughs> I could try the computer magazine again with your hero. I want to see. Alright, rec room. We will succeed this time. No, this is not all repeat. Mm. Oh, what? It changed! <gasps> Excuse me? Damn! Wanna play Othello? Let's give darts a shot. Let's play some pool. Okay, well... Interesting, so it doesn't give the same option every time. And now I'm definitely more at a loss because any game could be... Yay! Okay, but Othello seems like a, the, a mind use tactics and stuff like that. I've played by myself on the computer before, but um, I'm not exactly sure why, but it's never very fun. It's so nice to have a real person to play against. Um, Thanks, Makoto. Looks to me like she's having a really good time. Um, Is it that late already? Makoto, um, I don't know what to thank say. Thank you. You know? Okay. Uh, 
do I have an item that I can use on someone? I mean, I don't know what my chances of getting another trip, getting more tri trip tickets. Because I'm just, frankly, I don't know how well I'm going to do with uh, achieving this Monokuma machine. Oh wait, what did I do? I need presents here. So no mineral water, we have potato chips. Black croissant. Cup of noodles. Rations. A set of canned and vacuum sealed food stuff. The taste isn't bad and certain snakes that enjoy hide and go seek are just crazy about it. I got a feeling this might be for Junko, aka f f fake Junko. Certain snakes that enjoy hide and go seek are just crazy about it. You know what? Let's try the rations with Junko. I mean, who else could it be? The only other person that I can think of hide and go seek would be Kyoko, except for the fact that Kyoko's not really a snake, is she? <laughs> Okay. Let's see how this turns out. <laughs> Are you asking me out on a date? <laughs> You're such a little cutie. I guess I went on a date with Junko? Junko and I grew a little closer today. Okay, let's see if this backfires or not. Went on a date, we gave a girl some rations. <laughs> But more important... Admit it, Makoto. You didn't just give it me this to be nice, did you? <laughs> well, whatever. It works for me. Seeing Junko so pleased with something I gave her makes me happy. Hmm. Okay, I was right on that. Maybe. Hey, Makoto... I mean, I wonder if there's actually items that, no matter what, they, they'll... They're kind of cursory... Not cursory, but they just... They will please people. Like the water. I don't know if the water's a specific item for someone, or it can make anyone happy. Here, I care for you. Here's some hydration. <laughs> Either way. Hey, Makoto, can I tell you something? I mean, you and you alone. Just me? What is it? Yeah. My true intentions. Huh? Hmm. To be honest, I'm kind of fed up with all this. We're all ultimates, right? So we get carried away and rush face first into stuff. You and I have to wonder if it's okay to live like that. Are you thinking of quitting modeling or something? Dreams are meant to change as you grow up, right? Depending on where you're at, kindergarten, elementary school, junior high, high school. What can we do? But I've had the same dream since I was a little kid, and I've been rushing towards it ever since. So I've never really had to think all that hard about my dreams. What's wrong with that? It just means you still feel the same way about it, right? Yeah. That's what I used to think. But if it doesn't change, your possibilities can't grow, right? That's how new opportunities are born. Mm. And up until now, I never did that. I never let my dreams grow. All I saw was that one dream. I put everything I had into that one narrow little world. I feel like there's so much more I could be doing that I'm not. And I don't like that feeling. So I think I'm going to start looking for it. It's childish of me to think like that. Am I just being a baby? No, not at all. In the same way, I'm still trying to figure out what it is I want to do. I mean, you just got in high school. If you don't figure out by the end of it, it's okay. <laughs> and sometimes I feel like I'll never find it. I feel like maybe I'll spend the rest of my life looking for it. But I'm not sure it's even about finding it or not finding it. Maybe the important thing is that you're looking for it. <coughs> Akado, you... You actually sounded kind of cool just now. No, that's not what I was trying to... Yeah! But you could be right. Totally! Getting lost can be a good thing. As long as you're looking for it, maybe that's enough to be happy. Yeah! Yeah, I'm gonna remember what you said. Thanks, Makoto. Sure. <laughs> In return, I promise that if I do decide to kill someone, it won't be you. 
<laughs> Don't say scary stuff like that. <laughs> I'm glad I was able to talk to Junko like this. I think I understand her a lot better now. I feel like maybe we finally become friends in the true sense of the word. Seriously? But before I can do what you said, I gotta get out of here first. So I'm gonna definitely gonna find out how to get out. If she stopped yelling at nobody about how to get out, she'd find a way. Well, I guess it's okay. She can do things however she wants. Okay, I think, yeah, we won the hunt in terms of the report card, 100%ed Junkos. Give yourself a pat on the back. After nice, such a nice conversation. Okay. Awesome. Okay, let's skip this. It's day 36. Hell yeah! Mondo is feeling energized. Okay. I just want to see the report card. And uh, go, 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 go. I'm gonna skip you by accident. Oh, there's a look. There's a little star beside it. <laughs> Trans charisma. Okay. All right. Uh, what can I even construct? I have five days left. Okay, we got the iron. Oh, the iron plate's gonna be easy. So we need the welder, gas burner, microchip. What do I need for the microchip? Bag of screws. Oh. <laughs> wait, wait, how much do I need again? <laughs> oh my god, I need 30! 30! Okay, well, I'm halfway there with the gas burner. The microchip, I need... Ah, uh, integrated circuit. Okay. Oh boy. On. I did not at all look at these tools. Raises cleaning efficiency. Bag of screws. Inventory is full. Okay, well hold on, let's let's see try to remember remind myself. First off, okay, no one's tired. So good for me. Integrated circuit, so the physics lab is where we need the most stuff. Okay, wow. Um Science materials. I'm sorry, let's look. Humanities, science, art, phys ed. General materials reduces the amount of HP loss when collecting materials. Okay, um, so I think this one, this one right here, because all of that stuff I'm assuming is science materials. Okay. Um. Okay. Either way. How many people do I got cleaning? I got four people cleaning, so that should be fine. So really right now I'm focusing a lot on the bag of screws. Sorry, who's still resting? Okay. 
right, the syringe. Damn syringes! Okay, Junko is in the class. So let's see, I have three people in the classroom. I have a number of people <laughs> in the physics lab, which is as it should be. Okay, and let's see, Kyoko. Who's in the. Okay, this guy. Leon. So, let's see if I. the personal effects. Or does it just... Does it use it automatically, or... Can't really... Interesting. Okay, so obviously I do not know how... The microscope thing here works. And I don't see anything on this side of things. Wow, oh, okay. I'm like more than halfway through this particular section of thing and I learned something new. Whoops. Okay, but I think we're good to go. A lot of wrenches. Wow, we're getting a lot of stuff. 15 wrenches, 10 Bunsen burners, 8 circuits. Oh my god. So I guess the tools just get used up. Okay. Huh. Who should I talk to? Okay, first off, let's check out... Yeah, I don't know if the report card... Now then! ...itself affect how much it affects the... Yeah, so the report card that uh, at all does not uh, affect the diagnosis here on this uh, Monokuma diagnosis chart. All right. So the question is, well, what presents do I have left? I only have one trip side trip ticket left, so either way we are going to have to be resorted to just chatting with people uh, a wash basin intended to give you the courage to seek out a true man's fancy specifically in public bathhouses so I would know who would that be for my instincts would say Hifumi but <laughs> Well, I know he could end up being really... You might think it has to do with pets, but it's more related to beds. It's a high... It's a guide for junior high and high school students to help with their um, physical health. Small light. I think I already gave this to... Thin edible film made from starch is commonly used as candy wrapper, but also helps cover the taste of bitter medicine, which... This one. Who the hell would this be for? A tool used to grip and stabilize materials to shape and fix it. Somehow, just the name conveys a strong sense of power. See, this makes me think I should be giving to Sakura. Did I already give this to... Maybe... I should, let's try to give this to... Uh... Kataka? I don't know if I... I can't remember. I already don't remember what, you, what presents I gave you. I gave you a bottle of water once. Ha 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 ha! Sounds good. If it were anyone else, no way, but I don't mind sharing some of my valuable time with you. <laughs> Tiger was nice enough to give me some of his valuable time. You're a little closer today. Okay. 
would you like to give him? I think it would be faster to go from the bottom up. There we go. I see! Hmm. Maybe I was wrong about you, Makoto. Let's continue to deepen our relationship, shall we? Does that mean you Listen to me! Would you like to study with me, Makoto? Just the two of us. Come to my room. If there's anything you don't understand, I'm a very attentive teacher. Um, I don't think you need... I need you to be all that attentive. But sure, you don't mind if I stop by? Hmm. Of course not. Okay, let's do it. With Taka leading the way, we headed to his room. Hey! Welcome, Makoto. You're the first guest I've invited to hmm. my room. Now that we're here, let me pose you a question. A question? <laughs> don't worry, no studying required. This is the most basic of basics, straightforward. Haha, <laughs> there should be no challenge for you. Very easy, I assure you. Stop saying how easy it's gonna be, that just puts me even more pressure on me. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, here we go. What country first established zero as a numerical concept? Hmm. Zero as a number, right. I'm pretty sure that came from an Asian country. Okay. Is that... Is it... That's just, wrong! <laughs> <laughs> I literally don't know this one. <laughs> hey, it's India. Great. Correct. Good job, Makoto. I, I had faith in you, and you came through for me after... I came through for you on the second trip. You hear me? Seeing you get excited is the mix again. Okay, whoa, okay, yeah, sorry, read that wrong. <laughs> Either way, we got excited, he got excited, everyone's excited. So let's keep stack our efforts one on top of the other and show those self censored genius jerks what for. Hey, I'm Taka. What are you talking about? Yeah? Well, I just noticed you seem to really hate the idea of genius. <clears throat> hmm. I guess I feel like they're just my sworn enemy, you know? Huh? Hmm. But you hit the nail on the head. You're pretty sharp. But why? <laughs> There's someone... Someone I respect. Someone I hate. Someone I have to surpass. Because he was a genius. What? In other words... Tala... Tora Nosuke Ish Ishimura. Do you recognize that name? He was my grandfather. He was once Prime Minister of Japan. Okay. He was your grandpa? Hmm. He went from Minister of Foreign Affairs to Chief Cabinet Sec Secretary and finally Prime Minister. And all without any support network and only a high school degree. He was simply a genius. Everything he did, he did without any effort. He sounds like an amazing person and he was your grandfather? Count on it! He was a genius. He'd never known failure. His success was unimaginable to a normal person. But because of that... <laughs> He allowed himself to be controlled by naive emotions and got roped into a corruption scandal. He had no idea what the world of geniuses was really like. At least that's how I see it. Hmm. At that point, he fell just as fast as he had risen. And it wasn't just in politics. The business world had no use for him anymore and he plummeted. The debt he left behind torments my family to this day. He died a few years ago. By the end, he wasn't speaking to anyone. Despite his fame, his legacy, the only people who came to his funeral were family members. That's hard to imagine. You hear me? Some consider genius fate's blessing. But I see it as a tragedy more than anything. The tragedy of finding success without understanding the importance of effort. There's nothing worse than a genius who trips and falls. Just like my grandfather. And that's why you hate the word genius. Count on it! My grandfather serves as an important lesson why you must never dece be deceived by words like genius. Relying on your own effort, I will reach greater accomplishments than anything my grandfather ever did. You hear me? So we have to work hard to build a society where those who put in the most effort are proper properly rewarded. I see. I can agree with him, but Taka and I aren't the same. I can't reach those kinds of big dreams. <laughs> but you know, Makoto, I'm really happy. <laughs> I figured this school would be full of geniuses. I mean, I thought everyone would be my enemy. I never imagined I'd meet someone here who could share my who I could share my story with. <laughs> I'm so lucky to have met you here. This kind of thing only happens once in a lifetime. I hope we can stay close and combine our efforts to shape things the way we want. Uh, yeah, definitely. Got it. Okay, we have to keep on studying. I feel like I've come to understand Taka a lot better. I think we finally become friends. Oh, let's look at that. 
The devil wears a high school uniform. <laughs> That's his achievement. <laughs> Okay, Kyoko. <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? Okay, See ya! Unknown two beans. Restores consciousness. Okay, so essentially I can work one person to the bone <laughs> and be fine with it. <laughs> Alright, so. We're making our way with the gas burner. That actually seems to be the easiest, uh, easiest of the items. Do these just stay no matter what? Oh, wait, really? Huh, okay, so I guess if these things just stay here Damn, I really wish I knew about this sooner So that means technically I can have less people on cleaning duty Some people need to rest Actually, you know what? You can work. <laughs> you continue cleaning. You can rest, girl. Um, sir. Sorry, I called, you, I, I called you by the wrong gender again. Uh, physics lab. Okay, three people on cleaning duty. Let's see how that does. Have... See how that works. Four integrated circuits. Hmm. Who should I talk to? Who can I give presents to? I don't know what to do with any of these snack items. Emergency rations, each piece contains several flavors. Sprinkle this around outside and watch the birds come flocking. There's nothing stopping you from eating it too, I suppose. Could this be for like any particular person? Oh yeah, and then there's this. A brand name diamond popularly used in engagements, although this one's just an imitation.
very popular with men these days, but to be honest, this although it does attract ladies, most guys hate the smell. Most people consider it a thoroughly wash due to its poorly quality. Still enjoys mass due to its low price. There's like something for her food me, I think we can. Haha! <laughs> can give that one again to Fumi. Dried out tumbleweed. See, I wonder if- like this one... I think someone said, um... For Toko. But again, she's like, I just never know how she's gonna react. Okay. You know what? I'm, like, I'm super curious who the Rose Whip is for. <laughs> I, I'm, I, I want to look it up. Cause... I guess that would make sense. I know, I've seen the Rose Whip. Okay, yeah, this like, okay, wait, I, I don't care about... Mm. Okay, so some items it looks like... Wait, hold on. Love like, okay. So there's definitely items where either people do, they like them or they love them. And stuff like that. So with like... How oh, interesting. Hifumi. For, Hifumi is the one for the black croissant. But I gave that to Junko and it seemed to work out okay. Bird seeds. Apparently, Chihiro likes bird seeds. Everlasting bracelet? Oh, I don't even have that. Celeste is with the Zol diamonds. Chihiro, Leon, and Kyoko love the blueberry perfume. Honestly, I wouldn't have thought that. You know, I went in looking for the Rose Whip, but then they end up giving... I just want to give things away. That and, like, I just don't have any more side trip tickets, so... So... I suppose a change of pace is necessary sometimes. That's fine. Fine then, why don't we take a little break? Okay, spent some time with Kyoko. You're a little closer today. What? How did you know I was interested in this? <laughs> Your enigma, Makoto Nagi. It's called the internet. <laughs> Seeing Kyoko so pleased with something I gave her makes me happy. Oh, Kyoko. How do you stay so calm? What? Calm? I mean, you never lose your cool. You never show emotion. <laughs> you say that like I'm some kind of inhuman beast. Uh, no, I didn't mean it like that. Hey. Well, I am human. I do have emotions. I simply keep it to myself. I don't show it in my face or in my voice. You make that sound way easier than it is, especially in these kinds of circumstances. That's what we have to do. Well, you should consider trying... You can, well, you should consider trying. Your naive honesty makes you an easy target. Thanks. Thanks, Kyoko. <laughs> she keeps saying things like that. It's kind of irritating. Isn't there anything I can say to get a reaction out of her? In other words... Protect against deception and never allow others to read your emotions. 
And whoever stands before you, don't let them push you around. Correct. Remember that. And that's why you hide your own feelings? But... It's such a waste. What? Hmm? Your smile's just so cute. Hiding it behind that mask is just such a waste. A bright smile is way better. That's... What are you talking about? What? Cute? It's much too soon to be bringing up things like that. Uh, looks like I've got to show you a hint of emotion, didn't I? What? Makoto, you... Can't be. You deceived me? Uh, what? Me? Why? I don't believe this. To use the word cute to deceive someone. That's just too cruel. Sorry, I, I just got carried away, but still. I did deceive you, but it's not like it was a total lie. Ooh. You see how easily you yourself are deceived? Huh? Hey. You would never just come out and call someone cute like that. It's completely out of character. You thought I wouldn't pick up on such an obvious ploy. What? What? You mean... I thought you... I, I thought I tricked you, but I was the one getting tricked. <laughs> Watch yourself, Makoto. You're honest to a fault. With that, she was gone. The most formidable opponent. Neural liberation. I won't know what any of these skills mean. With Kyoko gone, I slowly made my way back to my room. Okay. Sorry, I'm like still scrolling down trying to find these damn... this rose whip. Um, this is a school announcement. Oh. Okay, so Celeste. Celeste and Junko for the rose whip. Celeste makes sense. Junko, hey there. I am honestly surprised. <laughs> Okay. So, what can we construct? Don't have any syringes, damn it. Okay. Humanities... What exactly is considered as part of humanities? Science makes sense to me. Art materials... Z materials... General studies... Greatly raises cleaning efficiency. Okay, so who... Oh, no one has lost consciousness yet. You're still going, Hifumi. Good on you. Either way, a lot of people, other people need to take a rest. You don't get a rest. I can raise you up, so... It's fine. <laughs> Oopsies. Wait, how many people do I got cleaning? Yeah, okay, you're five, level 5 in there. Okay, I have one person in the classroom. I think that's... I mean, that or I use... Oh, Rad Bull affects everyone. That's an option too. A Spirit Bomb? Oh, grants Hyper Energy for the next task. You know what? I can live with this. That's a burner eight, integrated circuits. Yeah! Don't worry, I'll raise you up. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. <laughs> 
You're going to be fine. Okay, let's use the Rose Whip on Junko. Not, sorry, not Junko. Celeste. I don't even know where I am at with your... This is fine. Well then, shall we have a bit of conversation? <laughs> ah, but don't misunderstand. I have no affection for you on a personal level. I spent some time with Celeste. Celeste and I grew a little closer today. Okay, so Rose Whip is all the way down. Here. So, I can have this. I may have to revise my initial impression of you. <laughs> the more wonderful things I receive from you, the better impression I get. Seeing Celeste so pleased with something I gave her makes me happy. Let's see... So, Makoto, do you like Mahjong? Mahjong? Um, I've never actually played. Most unfortunate. Is that so? A pity. I was hoping we might play together. Are you gonna...? Yes, indeed. Good? No, I am merely... I'm not merely good. I once played a game of Russian Roulette Mahjong and won. Russian Roulette? Mm. It was a truly fierce contest. Put on by a half-insane billionaire in the basement of his mansion. My opponents were a fierce old man and a silver-haired boy who was said to have the devil's own luck. We played with a modified rule set. I remember well the glass tiles we used. And you won? Mm -hmm. I defeated them both at once. I will never forget the angry twisted looks on their faces. The crowd that been, ha, had been invited to watch became positively right, right, righteous, righteous. Nobody could believe I had won. Hmm, that is one of my fonder memories. I'm really glad I didn't agree to play Mahjong with Mahjong, Mahjong with her. I can't, I, I'm definitely saying that I'm not right. Unable to comprehend Celeste's fierce impasse, I went back to my room. Um, this. Oh. <laughs> Feeling getting pretty good today? Okay. <laughs> Isn't that another, wonderful? Another See ya! What? <laughs> Okay. Well. Rise back from the dead! <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna be getting this. Okay. This person's on cleaning. Have you in the physics lab? I should probably check. <laughs> I should probably look at making stuff first. Okay. Okay. I totally wish I knew about the tools, otherwise that that would have greatly helped. Um, okay, so back of screws, metal plates, and then the syringes. I so wondering now... So I have two people each so far in the physics lab on this end. We need to rest. We need to rest. Have you here? Let's see what happens if we just have two people cleaning. Oh wait, you're the energized one. Damn it!
Okay, so I have four people in the classroom, three people in the physics lab, and two people in the nurse's office. I think that's the most, the best I can get. I literally think I can just have one person cleaning. Okay, Kufumi, since you're uh, up and running again, I know there's something I can give you. Oh, I should probably look this up before. Too late. One of the ray guns, right? I think it's ray guns. I don't know, something is spelled like the dungeon crawling. <laughs> Cosplayers these days are totally ignorant of their origin, the history, the significance of their hobby. And if you don't know your history, you can never have a complete cosplay oh, experience. Geez. So, Mr. Nagy, prepare for a gloriously detailed history of the cosplay world, now, in 1955. Mr. Fumi, half-obsessed ranting for way too long. We grew a little closer today. Okay. So one of these... Where was it? No. Here we go. Which one? Diving through walls, of course, doesn't exist in this reality. Oh, it's great for dungeon diving. Here, because he likes games, right? Mm -hmm. Kafumi gets up and seems to want to join the party. <laughs> <laughs> Allow Kafumi to join you. <laughs> Does that mean he liked it? <laughs> it's like... Makoto. Uh, what's wrong, Kafumi? <laughs> it hurts. It hurts? Are you okay? <laughs> You're really, uh, sweaty. I'll go get you some medicine. Uh, wait, what kind of medicine do you need? Coke. Huh? Say what? Coke, Diet Coke. Bring me some Diet Coke right now. Whoa, you just pulled a total 180. But I don't think I've ever... I've seen any Diet Coke here in the school. I suppose. I know. I looked all over. Say what? And now I'm going through Diet Coke withdrawal. Withdrawal? <laughs> If only I'd mastered the hypno-eye technique. Then I'll take over Monokuma's brain and use him to go get me some Diet Coke. That's all you want to do for that? But I never did learn that one. You got lucky this time, Bear. Okay. So, uh... Say what? I can't take it anymore. I would literally murder everyone in here for a can of Diet Coke. Don't say stuff like that. You gotta get through this, man. You know nothing! You can say that because you don't understand the glory of splendor of Diet Coke. <sighs> Diet Coke is a friend to all mankind. A single sip and your body melts like butter. It's the kind of high nothing can... It's kind of high nothing can match. It clears my mind and even the most boring conversation sounds like a cinematic masterpiece. <laughs> okay. I knew I hmm, I knew I was going through withdrawal and I'm hallucinating now. <laughs> Away, vile spirits. I cast me out. Ifumi, calm down. <laughs> it's like here comes the auditory hallucination. <laughs> Princess Pickles is you! Uh, snap out of it, man. <laughs> The princess told me to snap out of it. Okay. <laughs> you, you can't let Diet Coke beat you. You got it. You're right. I won't lose. I'm a strong boy. I can endure this for you, my princess. Come on. Come on. 
Now let's play tag. Hurrah, hurrah, tag you're in. What? Okay. <laughs> Squealing like a little girl who Fumi ran off to know who knows where. You know, I honestly was not expecting that. But I guess if we gave him the thing with imagination. I mean, I actually don't know how much that counts. Okay. Okay, so I really do think I only need one person. Either way, I have one day left. Uh, again, the chances me of getting this are nil to none. That syringe is going to be the end of me. Well, this is, if this doesn't work out, at the very least I can gain this one. Some of these are easy to get. Bag of screws, tree branches. Secret book of poems. Okay. Yeah, this is at this point this is definitely gonna be a lost cause. Cause there's no way I'm gonna be able to get the syringe is gonna be a problem. Yeah. This is definitely a no-go. So, which one of these can I aim for? Reduce the amounts of HP lost when collecting materials. That's a good one. Bag of screws and tree branch. Steering wheel. Number of general items. How much is a steering wheel? calculator for this one. I mean, we're doing okay with the long mop, honestly. We're doing just fine. Um, this requires bag of screws and tree branches. Here, we'll just have <laughs> everyone in like... Obviously, I they want the bag of screws more and the tree branches, but... Programming textbook... Yeah, let's see, maybe we can get a box cutter or Monokuma photo album. That wouldn't be a... that would be a pretty good one. Do I have... I already have two people. I clearly just completely abandoned the original objective. <laughs> but if I can get if I can get all these other things, that would honestly be great. I mean, let's just gather more materials. So let's see. I have one person's cleaning. Should be good enough. Fumi. Here, 
put you in the music room. So I have one person in the kitchen. Okay, so I have one person cleaning. Let's see how that does. Because they're at level five. Now one more box cutter, two music stores. And two people leveled up. Okay. Let's try someone said the rose things. Actually, you know what? Let's just look it up. The the rose, the vitro rose, I think it was called. Rose in vitro. Okay, that can be used on a bunch of people. So the people who love it will be Junko, Kyoko, Sakura, Sayaka, and Toko. So I get it technically can work on Toko. So who have I not... Here's a question. Who have I 100%ed yet? Byakia. So you need just one more with Byakia. Mondo, we don't really have all that much. Neither with Leon. this, we are not friends, but have four of his. Sayaka. Sorry, how many again? Toko's three. So either, I don't know, I gave her more items that she loved, maybe? If that's what it is? Hero, what? I don't have much with you. Celeste. Okay, well, Toko. I know she'll love the roses, so at the very least, get all four. your problem what more pity aren't you such a good person showing me all this pity I spent some time with toko toko and i grew a little closer today okay Forgive this. I'll never forgive you for being this nice to me. Seeing Togo so pleased with something I gave her makes me happy. <laughs> hey, I want to talk to you. Huh? That's strange. Togo never wants to talk to me. I thought she hated my guts. What's your problem? Are you listening to me? Oh, sorry. Yeah, I'm listening. <laughs> I just wanted to clear something up. I mean, I, I have to clear it up. Like I said before, I don't want you to get the wrong idea, okay? Huh? What did you say? <laughs> About not having any love in real real life. <laughs> I don't want you thinking I, I don't have any experience at all. Even someone like me has gone on a date. Oh. <laughs> it's true, I'm not lying. I'll tell you all about it if you really want to hear. Uh, no, it's okay. <laughs> I was in junior high, and out of nowhere, this guy from another class just asked me out. Okay, I guess I'm here anyway. <laughs> he asked me to make plans for the date. I stayed up all night for three days planning it, and what I came up with was... It was our first, first date, so I was going to do something just... Traditional. I said I'm going to see something. What was it? Yeah! Are you stupid? When you're talking traditional date stuff, what do you think it was? Okay, so obviously it's going to be a movie, right? <laughs> Window shopping? You plan to go see a movie? <laughs> yeah, it was pretty cool, right? You go watch it and afterwards talk about it all passionately. In other words, it's an ideal first date material. 
this is a horrible movie. Although you can talk about that too. Anyway, you stayed up for three nights and that's what you came up with? <laughs> Next I decided what to go see. Since we were junior high, we couldn't go see kids movie, right? I want something really action-packed. Yeah, a guy would definitely like that kind of thing. It, and it could get you both pumped up. <laughs> so we decided to check out the Saijin... Sai, Seijun Suzuki triple feature. Tokyo Drifter, Fighting Elegy, and Branded to Kill. Irresistible for any guy, right? Um, and those are all... <laughs> you don't know who Seijun Suzuki is? He's world famous for his one-of-a-kind aesthetic, his unique blending of color. Uh, sorry. <sighs> the killer is the main character. He gets riled up by the smell of cooking rice. Oh. <laughs> a murder masterpiece. Honestly, I think there's probably not a lot of guys my age who have any idea who he is. <laughs> You're right. I learned that fa fact the hard way. He must have hated it because he disappeared right in the middle of the first movie. What? He just left? And after you put all that effort into planning everything out? It's awful. <laughs> well, it, it was... It is what it is because I found it was just a dare anyway. A dare? <laughs> yeah. He lost a bet with his friends so he had to go out with me on a date. And there I was, spending three days to come up with something for us to do. Yeah! This is all your fault. You may remember that terrible trauma. My fault? <laughs> do you like humiliating me that much? Is that how you get your kicks? I finally seen the real you. No, I... I can't be around you and your perverted fetish anymore. I'm leaving. Eyes burning with hatred. Toko glared at me, sounding off. Okay, now she's gotta hate me. I parted ways with Toko and went back to my room. Um. Oh. <laughs> Heavy Arms Monokuma. Yep. Oh, you... You want me to still try. Do you? Wait, tools. <laughs> Let's see. Secret Book of Poems. Wait. Okay, so I just need more tree branches. What about this one? Steering wheel. Damn it. Okay. So close. And this one requires a secret book of poems, which I can only make. Okay. Well. Too bad for you. You better stop taking this seriously. I know you can do better than this. Anyone could. So the next concept is... Ta-da! Warlock Kuma. Okay, this is the last one, actually. <laughs> yes, indeed. I feel very refreshed. Just very, very good feelings all around. Taka seems to be feeling pretty good today. Okay, what does this require? A Greek statue, the microtrip, sci-fi novel... Paint? 50 paint? Hold on. If I can get more box cutter in this... Greek statue, microchip, sci-fi novel, secret poems, paint. Okay, so I need more of the secret book of poems anyway. I still need the microchip. Ooh, I don't know how to spend any of this. Okay, well, if we need 
clean you're back on clean duty you're well rested let's see bag of screws okay uh i definitely need someone to gather tree branches need people in the library anyway need people in the classroom Art room, art room. We need more of these. Damn, it's a little bit of everything, isn't it? Okay, hold on. What are the tools that I want? I definitely want... I don't know about the humanity materials, but I definitely want this. So really, my main goal is to get more of the steering wheel. So I need box cutters. Okay, so I need one more box cutter. Okay, so I'm technically, I'm lined up everything. So everyone can get something. Four tree branches. Six tree branches. Twelve tree branches. Okay, what would you like to do? What are some of the items that we've got that we can use? At this point, since this is the last one, Let's just see. What can I... Where are some of the various items I got? Okay, I was actually closer to finishing this than I thought. Love status ring. What's the love status ring? Who can I give that to? Apparently Hina would really like the G-Sick. The... The watch. Zol's diamond. Okay, Zol's diamond is good for Celeste. The love status ring is also good for Cel uh, Celeste and Sayaka. And who am I closest to in terms of just trying to get? Three. You know what? Since we're like four away from Byakia. I mean, I don't know at this point who I can, like, befriend. I think in the case of, um... In the case of Junko, I was able to just give her a lot of items that she loved. Junko, aka... Twins, her twin sister. Because, yes, you know, these guys have four. But... I don't have... I don't have the, uh, the star beside them. So Celeste. Celeste like the Zold Diamonds. Let's give Celeste the Zold Diamonds. Since this is like... This apparently is going to be the last set. <laughs> well... Oh, you wish to stay close to me. <laughs> I'm not surprised. Spend some time with Celeste. Okay, we go a little closer today. I'd like to give her. Okay, hopefully she can't tell that this is a fake. <laughs> or an invitation. <laughs> Interesting. The gods heard me pr my prayer and my wish has been granted. This is all because of my daily sympathy and compassion, is it not? What sympathy and compassion? Anyway, seeing Celeste so pleased with something I gave her makes me happy. <sighs> Celestia Ludenberg. Celestia Ludenberg. What are you doing? <laughs> no matter how many times I hear it, 
I never tire of hearing my own name. Isn't it so splendidly charming? Oh yeah, I've been wondering about that. Why that name? Well... Why? I mean, is it from something? Why did you pick it? <laughs> I did not pick it. My name was given to me by my mother and father. Come on, that can't be your real name, can it? This is fine. It is indeed my real name. Make no mistake about that. Okay, so your parents gave you that name. Indeed. That's right. My father is French nobility, and my mother is part of the German family of musicians. There's no way that's true. <laughs> okay, so you were born in France or Germany? <laughs> Tochigi. Now we're getting somewhere. <laughs> I was born in the capital of Tochigi, which is known for its delicious gyoza. Do you know of which city I speak? Uh, I do not know the capital of Tochigi. Um, internet don't fail me now. <laughs> so, I'm just gonna look this up. I mean, I know I can fail and then we can just have another go at it, but... I'm planning a trip for Japan and I've not heard of to Tochigi, so... Yeah. Tochigi... It's north prefecture north of Tokyo that encompasses part of Nikko. Maybe I have heard of it. Well, indeed. Nikko is certainly one of the most beautiful parts of. Oh. Okay, I have heard of this, and I apparently completely forgot. That I was really focused on Nikko. <laughs> so it's no surprise you would leave a lasting impression on you. <sighs> But to think you would consider that an appropriate answer to my question, simply appalling. Oh wait, it's not! Okay. Or maybe it's... It says part of Nico. Okay, well... Haha, <laughs> nope, failed again. Okay. <laughs> oh! That's correct, you have proven you are roughly as intelligent as an elementary school student. Yeah, don't... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Or well, high schooler, maybe. Actually. Or maybe you, you'd be surprised to learn that I absolutely adore gyoza. I love its stench, its base vulgarity. <sighs> so, as you can imagine, I'm quite disappointed that I will never taste my hometown's gyoza again. Never say never, you know. Once we get out of here. Is that okay? We will never get out of here. How long will you continue with this ridiculousness? You should give up. Do you understand? If you don't, it can only lead to murder. Oh, interesting. Doesn't matter now, but thanks. Holiday? Okay. Yes, indeed! Now! Alright, who else can I... Maybe it's like five times you have to give them presents, and then you can befriend them? Because I really want to befriend Kyoko. <laughs> Kyoko's the only person that matters. Well, okay, that's not true. That's not true. Okay, love status ring is for Celeste and Sayaka. Just get rid of some of these presents. Or find one that Kyoko would really like. I want to see if I can get 100% with Kyoko. So... Rose in vitro, cherry blossom bowl, uh, bouquet, bullet, bouquet, golden gun. Okay, I definitely don't have that item. Ah, uh, Byakia, Sakura, Sakura. Leon. Oh! The Bojo Boat dolls are good for Kyoko, apparently. She loves them? Hmm. I know I have multiple of those. Listen, I want a gold star beside your name, so... Correct. However... But I don't think I have anything to say. Are you okay with that? 
spend some time with Kyoko in silence. <laughs> we grew a little closer today. Okay, so let's go from the bottom up because I believe that it's the best way to get there. Nope. I honestly would not have thought of this. This really means a lot to me. Seeing Kyoko so pleased with something I gave her makes me happy. Can we finish this already? Huh? Finish? So... If we truly want to trust each other, we must truly know each other. That's what you believe, isn't it? Well, yeah, but... Hey. I understand why you feel that way. When it comes to me, I think you should probably give up. What? So... Why? Because I don't have anything to talk to you, talk to you about. Did we have this conversation before? That's what we have to do. Hey. Surely by now you notice that I always wear something unique to me. Uh, or is it supposed to be the gloves? It's those gloves, Indeed. right? That's right. Why did you bring them up? Does it have something to do with getting involved like you so... mentioned? Simply put, there was a time when I grew attached to someone and made a bad decision. I was forced to learn a very powerful lesson, and these gloves are a daily reminder of that. So on these gloves, I swore to never make the same mistake again. Sorry, but I'm not sure I completely understand. Can you tell me any more about it? Maybe then I could- However- I'm sorry, but I can't. That's the end of it. So then I never got to learn anything about her, about how she feels. Anyway, don't get too depressed over all this. The reason I'm not willing to talk about it isn't because I don't trust you. In fact, I do have faith in you, which is why I decided to tell you what I have. Correct. I want you to understand why I can't tell you. I can't show you myself just like I can't show you what's beneath these gloves. I can't remember the last person who saw what was beneath my gloves. That Indeed. That's right. And I can't imagine a point where I would show them ever again. Only someone I could call family would be worthy. Family. Listen. Are you going to volunteer? Huh? Hmm? <laughs> Got you again. <laughs> <laughs> you really are foolishly open. She did get me again, and she laughed at me. But never really heard her laugh out loud like that. I think that must be her natural laugh. It is right. That wasn't fake. So maybe in the end, she did show me some part of herself. Maybe she showed me her true feelings. <sighs> I know I always tell you to be careful and protect yourself, but to be honest, I hope you don't change. I prefer you this way. <laughs> this is you. In the end, I never really, I never did really figure her out, but at least I got a little bit closer. Yeah. Whoa. Ghost face skillish? What does that mean? Oh yeah. Okay. Who else can I... I mean, I guess it's just it's just the, going to be the achievement run <laughs> of who in the world. So yeah, I gotta talk to them like about four more times and stuff like that. Ifumi... Wait, Aoi, Hina. Yeah. We can uh, talk to you. We can try 100% you. Oh wait, Sakura. I can also try 100% if I have anything for her, though. That's the real question. Voice changing. Okay. Let's see. Taka likes. Taka? Wait, Taka likes the chin drill? I would not have thought of that. So, in terms of presents, what do I've got? So we know all. We don't have everything. That's the problem. Hero graduation present. Toko likes the maiden handbag. Okay, we can 100% Toko, probably. Let's 
Sakura. Asura's tears is for Sakura? Too bad I only have. Too bad I wasted that on. on, on Hiro. The moon rock is for no one. Prince Shotoko's Sh globe is for Byakuya. He loves. He's gonna love that. The golden airplane. So basically, anything gold is for Byakuya. <laughs> Makes sense, um, honestly. Okay, I don't think I have anything else for Sakura. So yeah, I don't think Sakura... I can. I don't think I'll be able to 100% Sakura purely because... Ooh, the Kirlian cameras for Chihiro! Did I already give that to her? No, I gave that to, uh... Then, yeah. How many far away was Celeste? Oh, okay, so I can 100% Celeste if I want to. Sakura, Toko, I can also 100%. Hina, I can possibly 100%, depending on what items I've got. On me. So, I mean, I guess let's look at the presents that we've got right now. Because I think I have more... So, Hifumi likes the potato chips. Sorry, Hifumi loves these snacks. And that really can only go to... Mondo likes the Sonic Cup of Noodles. Let's see... Slime Lunchbox, Bird Seeds, Kitten Hair Clip, Love Status Ring. That's for Celeste and Sayaka. Okay, well I'm not... I guess I can give that to Celeste. Let's see what else we've got. God of War Charm? Nope. Ah, Hina. We can give this to Hina. There we go. I think that only can go to Hina. Right? Or Leon, Taka, and Chihiro. Too bad Hina is yours. <laughs> Oh, hello, regulator. You got it! <laughs> you want to do some stretches with me? I followed Hina's lead and did some elaborate stretching. Hina and I grew a little closer today. <laughs> what? I can keep this, right? Right? <sighs> <laughs> Ultra stoked. Seeing Hina so pleased with something I gave her makes me happy. Ah, oh, I'm so hungry. Oh, please! Makoto, help me, I'm hungry! What am I supposed to do? Oh. I need food, anything. I don't care if it's a sack of paper. Need food. Why don't you just eat some more donuts? Just a second! I can't. That's my secret weapon for emergencies only. If I keep gorging on something with that many calories, I'd get fat in no time. So she, so even she cares about that kind of thing. Well, she is an athlete. But... Besides, I don't want anything sugary right now. I want a salty snack. Like, potato chips? Hmm. Like, ramen. How's that? You snack? got it all wrong! Huh? How is it not? Speaking of which, what's your favorite kind of ramen? Sh show you. Without a doubt. This is a soy sauce base, I believe. You got it! Ah, good choice. Definitely the most refreshing option. What about you, Hina? You're worried about calories and all, so... Okay! I'm a portastic tonkotsu girl, through and through. Or you don't care about calories at all. <laughs> the key element of the tonkotsu ramen is the butter and the extra fat. So you're all okay with all that oil? <sighs> Ugh, talking about it makes me even hungrier. Maybe it's time. Maybe I can make it to the dining hall. Are you sure, though? I mean, a bowl of ramen was has way more calories than a donut. What is this? Who says stuff like that? Are you a real man or aren't ya? Well, well, are you afraid? Afraid of ramen? You're pathetic, Makoto. I'm ashamed to know you. 
Are you still Hina? Just a second! Shut up, get out of my way. I'm gonna show you what a real man looks like. Or are you gonna stand in my way and suffer the fist-based consequences? No, I have no intention of getting you. Okay! Then don't. If I don't do this now, when am I ever going to get another chance? Crying out like a starving raven, Hina ran off at the dangerous clip towards the kitchen. When it comes to food, Hina is terrifying. Oh. Okay, so maybe we weren't quite there yet with Hina. Um. Oh. All right. <laughs> Toko, you're feeling great. Thank you. <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? Cleaning Maestro. See ya later. <laughs> I mean, might as well just spend these. Okay, you're t you two are my cleaning guys, so... <laughs> so all this time I was wasting my time on consumables when I could have been constructing stuff. Ha! Ah. There we go, good good good. Okay, that's the Z materials. Need... Wait, what did I need a tree branch for? Oh, I need a tree branch for this. Sorry, my bad. Um, Mona Lisa... Oh, did I not get enough box cutters? Damn. Sci-fi novels, secret book of poems. Haha, <laughs> the paint is going to be a long ways off. <laughs> so long ways off. Okay, so I need more art supplies I want. So I need more box cutters and Monokuma photo albums. But we're at a better place now that we don't have so much. And you're being energized. No one's tired. So I need more people in the library. Art supplies. Classroom. Classroom. Fumi's on cleaning. Luminant can. Okay, we've actually got quite people in the quite a bit of people in the art room. Do you need, need more people? Okay, whatever. See, it's just one person cleaning how that does. Hmm. It increases by a little bit. Okay, someone leveled up. Okay, so I want to check the thing with Hina with her report card. Five. Okay, so some people have more than one. Good to know. So Kyoko got Junko we got. Sakura, unfortunately, I don't think I have any of her items. Mondo really likes the... So 
Some of these gifts are kind of surprising, though. <laughs> the love said this ring is good for Celeste or Sayaka. Oh, yeah, okay. You want, we can give the food to uh, the potato chips or the prostamic cortex to Fumi. Let's do that. Fumi, where are you? What I have to say, huh? Well, what would you like to talk about? Comics, video games, anime, collectible figures? Take your pick. I actually want to check something quick. There's a maiden's handbag, which I think doesn't work on anyone else. If that is the case, I might as well just give him that. Yeah, okay. Oh no, maiden's handbag is for Toko. Okay, never mind. I list of Fumi's half obsessed ranting for longer than I would have liked. Get a little closer. Okay. <laughs> so you thought this would please me, huh? You thought this this was would... <laughs> Get the impression that he liked it, that's good. Wow. Yeah, Miss Nayagi. Huh? Yeah, what's up? I feel like you're worthy of my trust, you know? You're the only one I can confess to. <laughs> I've reached my limits. I need to get out of here right now. Hey, come on. Don't talk like that when you've got that creepy grin on your face. <laughs> I it's need like... to see her. I need to get a TV. I need to see the real Princess Pickles. What's he mean, real? She's a cartoon character. But now she might... But now might be a bright time to bring that up. Listen, don't get so upset. I'm sure you'll see her again really soon. I'll see... You'll see your, uh, uh, what was it? Something Angel Pretty... Pretty Princess? Without a doubt! Something Angel. Something Angel. You know nothing! How dare you insult the princess like that! Say her name right, swine! Her official name, uh, what was it again? What? She has an official name? Wasn't it just Princess... Wasn't it just the Princess Pudgy... whatever? What other name are they talking about? I have no idea. What? Demon? Oh, now I remember. The full time is Demon Angel. Okay. Demon Angel, pretty pudgy princess, right? <laughs> it's actually... Okay, you want the star. Demon Angel star, pretty pudgy princess, to be precise. You left out the star, but I suppose I'll let that slide. Uh... Thanks? But jeez, Fumi, you really love anime, mm -hmm. huh? Of course. She's my guiding angel. She opened my eyes to life. How very sad. Before her, I didn't have a single friend. I was just a mild-mannered boy who liked to draw. I hurt everything I touch. I was a model young lad who fell to the dark side. For example, sometimes a nice nice type girl would come try to talk to me. That's it! I'm no. sure of it! Be nice to the weird dorky kid, and I'd scream at her, You're such a hypocrite! <sighs> I'd just yell right in her face and make her cry. Man, I love doing that. That's awful. He probably traumatized that poor girl. <sighs> but by total chance, I happened to catch an episode of Demon Angel Star, Pretty Pudgy Princess, one day. At first, I felt nothing but content for it. I thought it was just another magical girl anime. What? However, after that, she came to me in my dreams. You're... Dreams. <laughs> I dreamed that I went on date after lovely date with Pin Princess Piggles. It was so much fun. When I woke up and realized it was a dream, I got depressed, but I also realized that I was in love. I wanted to experience that sensation again so I could start so I started buying all the Princess Piggles stuff I could. However Unfortunately, in the show itself the princess never falls in love. So as much as I wanted to I never got to see her face filled with love the way I did in my dream. <laughs> it's the face like... she made when she was in love was the cutest thing I'd ever yes, seen. Yes, indeed. So, filled to the brim with my overflowing affection for the princess, I decided to draw that face myself. I was conceived with passion, and I finished one Princess Pickle project after another. 
I was so happy with the results, I decided to put it on my personal website just to see what happened. <laughs> and it was an instant success. That was the moment I was reborn as a true fanfic creator. So that's why, huh? Ah, I was so happy. I had no idea where other people on the planet who felt the same things I had. Okay, I definitely read that wrong, but either way, we're continuing on. <laughs> I can't thank her. I know that. So instead, so I'll follow up all my love and affection and use it to do incredible, incredibly embarrassing things to her. I think he missed a mark by a mile. But maybe I'm better off for hearing what he had to say. I think I understand him a little bit better now. <sighs> Still, she's developing as a woman, you know, and I can keep developing her in all sorts of ways. And uh, maybe understanding him just a little better is good enough. Delusion. <laughs> Damn, okay, so he's more ways to go. You. Okay. Man. I'm like so few away. Music score. Damn. I have to send something to the music room. Do I need tree branches? Oh, I need tree branches for the... Here, I'm putting you in the music room. Sorry, not the music room. I'm putting you here because I really want... Oh no, that bag of screws. Maybe... Sci-Fi Never... Novel Bunsen Burner. Library, classroom, you're dying, smoothie to cleaning, um, yeah, I mean, I have so many people in the, in the library just because I want the box cutter in the Moon album. Box cutter one. Okay, what about Monokuma album? It's Monokuma full album. You're being a real <laughs> pain in the ass. Yes. How many do I need though? I have one. How many do I need more though? Okay, so I could potentially 100% Ifumi. Okay, so I have one more to go with Ifumi. So maybe it really is five that you have to... I don't know, but Celeste... No, Junko is like four. Celeste is four. And he has his is five as well. Okay, so I'm assuming the majority of people is actually five. You have to go six, maybe? Okay. So, let's see, we have Hina that we can possibly try to 
100% depending on what items I have. I know Kafumi is good to go. Toko is... No one likes to tumbleweed. Chihiro... And apparently... <laughs> okay. Oh, I don't have the item anymore. Okay, I mean for sure right now I can get Hifumi's. Thong. Okay, I'm sorry. Who is that? No one loves it, but some people like it. Byakia, surprisingly. Junko, Jack, and Chihiro. Huh. Alright. <laughs> the Hanbra. No one loves it, but Jack and Junko will like it. That's a... odd one. The shears. No one... nothing there. Apparently this one hero will like it. Only Chiro. This is this can this one go to anyone? Just Hiro and Junko. Hiro? Really? The gun. Chihiro and Junko. I guess, I guess. This thing I read was Chihiro. Mr. Old Time Fastball is Chihiro, apparently. Golden Airplane. Green Rock. It's Toko. Yeah, I don't know if I have anything for Hina, then. That is the case. Anything more for Hina, I should say. Oh, who the hell is this vice for? No one. Literally no one. No one loves it, no one hates it. <laughs> On the other hand, some of these items, like, I've used and people are like, Oh, thank you! So... Clearly, I don't know a thing. Okay. Here's a question. Who? This is for Jack? The red costume, Chihiro, Hina, and Junko. <laughs> I guess maybe I'll try to use that on Hina. Okay, either way, let's, uh... At the very least, I can 100% do, so... In terms of the report card. Mm -hmm. I know I look like I'm all about the cutting edge, but I have found love for retro games too. Let's begin my four-part history of electronic games, part one, ancient... Wait, didn't I read... You... Have you told me this before? I feel like you have. Am I getting the same lecture, Hifumi? Hmm. I mean, I guess... Anyway, if you want to hang out for a while. Seeing Hifumi so pleased with something I gave him makes me happy. Mr. Naegi! Hi there, Mr. Naegi. It's kind of embarrassing, but there was something I was hoping to talk to you about. <laughs> I'll be waiting in my room. Come as soon as you can. Okay. We are going to head to the room. I did what Hifumi asked and head straight for his room. <laughs> Welcome, Mr. Naegi, to my secret flower garden. So what... So what did you want to talk about? Is it about Princess Pickles again? Huh? Pickles? No, who cares about her? What do you mean, who cares? I thought you cared a lot. Oh, like a lot. Um... I, maybe I misspoke. It's just that I don't have room to think about her right now. See, I was kind of starting to think about just maybe creating something original. Original? Hmm. It's actually been in the back of my mind the whole time I've been doing fanfic. 
Fanfic is amazing, don't get me wrong. It's a way to connect people to share dreams, so to speak. Mm -hmm. But I think I have more to offer. I'm ready for the challenge of creating that dream myself. I was thinking, if I could create something that might save someone, the way Princess saved me. Here we go! I want to create a masterpiece that will astound the mainstream audience. I only watch anime on the weekend, and I only really know the most popular comics. I want to try and make something that has the same reach as that stuff. Stuff like that. I guess what I really want to do is create something that other people will want to make fanfic of. Mm -hmm. Of course, I'll still keep making fanfic myself. That's just my life's work after all. But if that can coexist alongside original work, that's like the best of both worlds. <laughs> that's your dream. <laughs> a dream. When you put it like that, huh, stop, you're embarrassing me. But having a dream to work towards is really nice. I'll be cheering you on. In private. <laughs> You know, Miss Nagy, in private is unacceptable. Huh? Yes, indeed. I want you to become my assistant. That's right. A legendary assistant slash historian. I feel as if... No, man. I, how cool is that? You'll be like my own personal narrator. Mm. Long ago, mm. there was a man mm. named Fumi mm. Yamada. He was an incredibly famous fanfic creator. <sighs> His grandpa went up to the mountain to cut and cut and cut and cut. Okay. His grandma spent her days washing clothes. Washing pants, washing all kinds of things. Here comes a rare gigantic peach down the river. Grab it, sell it to the highest bidder. The Fumi? Mm-hmm. Uh, sorry, I just got a little carried away in my latest plot. S that's what that was? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'll be counting on you to give the world a play-by-play -play as I ascend into godhood. I mean, if I'm a successful. Ah, I'll be counting on your unique perspective as my friend. I got to learn about Hifumi's dream. I feel like I've come to understand Hifumi a lot better. Lost in scanlation. Okay, how many days have I got left? I have four days left, okay. Yes! I can finally make this. There we go. Okay, so I need a Greek statue, microtrip, sci-fi novel, secret books of poems, paint. Sorry, is there anything that... I never actually checked if there's anything that intersected. Aluminum can, huh? Paint. Oh my god, that paint's gonna be impossible. Uh, the Greek statue, microchip, science fiction novel. For you, baby, body, boo. Greek statue, microchip. Okay, so the Greek statue. I need a lot more. I need a lot more aluminum cans. So that would be the kitchen. No way. Okay, I got the microchip. So I no longer need to focus on bag of screws and integrated circuit. I don't need an integrated circuit. I don't think that crosses over with anything else. No. Okay, so I can finally take someone out of the physics lab. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> All right. So what else? Greek statue, secret book of poems, paint. So I need someone in the music room. In the kitchen, and in the garden. Because 
Is that the only thing? Oh, we still need someone in the physics lab because we need the sci-fi novel. Never mind. Okay, let's get two of them. Continue with you in the music room. Oh. Kitchen. Okay, I need someone in the kitchen. Marbles, aluminum can. Question, who should I talk to? Okay, so we have four stars now. I don't know if Celeste is gonna require one more, just this is gonna be it. I think you want know the reason why probably the reason why Junko takes so few is because she dies early. I imagine the case would be the same for Leon himself. Hero, Sayaka, close with Toko. Here, yeah, let's talk to Toko. He gave her the handmaiden's bag. Drink, take a drink of uh beauty. You want to spend time with me? <laughs> I don't know what you're planning, but do whatever you want. Spend some time with Toko. Toko and I grew a little closer today. Okay, so I think going from the bottom up will be the easiest. Yeah, what I the heck? I can't forgive this. I'll never forgive you for being this nice to me. Seeing Togo so pleased with something I gave her makes me happy. Well, I guess we are technically learning her expressions. I can feel Togo's silent pressure on me stronger than ever. <laughs> Take responsibility. Huh? Responsibility? Me? Well... I've been trapped here too long. There's nothing to do. The boredom started killing me. So I thought maybe I could write my next novel, The Pinnacles of Romance Novel Literature. <laughs> I can't do it. Huh? Why not? Yeah! I've got writer's block. My powers of delusion are in com a complete slump. This has never happened before. What caused it? Uh, I'm telling you! You did, when you opened up all those old wounds. You're blaming me? <laughs> I can't take it anymore. No more writing for me. I'm, I'm retiring. <laughs> retiring? But that's such a waste. You've got so much talent. Anyway! No, I, I'm d done. I never... I was never all that good in the first place. And now I don't have the m motivation or willpower anymore either. Damn, it's like she's haunted by all those ghosts of her past. Listen, Toko, 
why not take this opportunity to look back at why you started doing this in the first place? What's your problem? Why I started? Yeah, you. why you started writing at all. Reflect on that, and I'm sure it'll give you at least a little motivation. It all started with a single love letter. Love letter? <laughs> when I was in elementary school, I fell in love for the first time. He was a friend of mine. There weren't any feelings at first. He was the only boy I could, could talk to without getting hung up. But then he told me his family was moving to Shikoku. As soon as he said that, I could feel my chest starting to tighten. <laughs> at first, I didn't even understand what I was feeling. I was... A, it was a total mystery. But I was too embarrassed to tell him how I felt directly. So instead, I wrote him a love letter. And then... And then? <laughs> the next day, the day he left, I saw he hung up the letter up on the school bulletin board. What? <laughs> I got to talk to him again later on. Apparently he hated the fact that I talked to him so much. All the other kids used to make fun of him for it. I guess that was his revenge To show the world my letter right before running off again. That was the most miserable first love story I ever heard. <sighs> but one of the teachers that read the letter said I had a talent for writing. And that's what sparked my interest in writing. So that's what happened. <laughs> now I, I dug that, that terrible memory. It's all your fault, all this trauma. It's all pointless. I'll never write another sublime love story ever again. Well then, why don't you try writing something besides romance <laughs> stuff? Huh? What I mean is, why don't you try writing about what you're actually feeling, from the heart? <laughs> you're saying I should take these feelings of anger and emptiness and turn them into a novel? Honestly, I think that'd probably do, do her a lot of good. <laughs> this is not a bad idea. Fine, I'm going to do it. Right from the heart. <laughs> I'm going to do it. <laughs> Toko dragged her screeching laughter behind her as I, she ran off. Well, she definitely seems motivated, but that is a good thing. Okay. Da da. Let's do it. Yeah, Leon, you're feeling pretty good. <laughs> Isn't that one? See ya! Yeah. We got two spirit bombs, don't we? Sorry, what is it we need? Greek statue. Damn! Luminant cans, huh? Doubles the number of Fizzed materials. What? Say so what? It's like a new material that from the Fizzed area? Humanities material. Whatever. Sorry. Not that we need any of these other things. So might as well just make it. <laughs> Pie calculator. Does the reference book... No, so if I want, I could. So how many do I need for this? High-tech mob. Five. Book of poems, which we technically can't go for. Paint, secret book of poems. So, need more tree branches. Need more lumen cans. In... Need more music scores. Sure. <laughs> 
Toko, you can work to a consciousness. Okay. We make hands and integrated circuits, huh? But they're not really like waste way more energy. Science fiction novel. Go. And then I can move one person. in the music room, four people getting branches, four people in the kitchen, and one person in the library. I'm fine with that. Branches have gone crazy. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll revive you. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, so Hina, what can I? There has to be something I should be able to give you. Hope's Peak Ring? I think everyone, everyone just likes the Hope's Peak Ring. I don't know if you have to like specifically give items they love or like, if they, or it could be either or. Bunny earmuffs. Red scarf, you know, G sick. Okay, we keep that to yeah. Okay, so everyone will like the Hope Speak ring. Hero. And Leon for the Sonic Cup of Noodles. Because I don't think I have anything else for Hina. At all. Let's get to know. So some of these items are do have like multiple uses with different people. Because I think with Hina... Okay, wait, who... So Hina's one more. Toko's one more. I can't... And it's less... Okay, so it's better if I try to go for Hina right now. If I want to at least get the, um... 100% per side of things. It's just, I think the, I think the only present that I can give her would be the hopes ring, the, the ring for the school. Well, okay, wait, apparently the red costume. Can the red costume, maybe I'll save the ring. Because Hina apparently will like the red costume. The really weird one. Yeah. So Jinko, Chiro, and Hina are the ones who like this costume. I have multiple of them.
Yeah! You wanna go for a run to release some of the stress? Okay, we ran. Present, present, present. It's super cute. <laughs> For real, you're sure I can have this? I get the impression that she liked it. That's good. Uh. Uh, this sucks. What? What happened to her? She was, seems way more depressed than usual. Hey, Hina, what's wrong? Um. Oh, well, I tried to convince myself I was imagining it, but I totally wasn't imagining it. Imagining what? I'm sick of this. I, I, I got fat. I figured. I'm huh? so fat. Fat from every angle. I hate this. Hate this. I may as well just accept it and embrace my new big fatty fat attitude. You know, there is a swimming pool in the school. I don't know why you are... What if I just keep getting fatter and fatter? Unless it's a stress. It's possible that this could be also be stress induced. I just... But what if I just keep getting fatter and fatter and then never stop? I'm sick of this. I just get disgustingly morbidly obese and then nobody wants to marry me which makes me depressed and I get even fatter eventually I can't even stand up on my own and then I die, sat and alone, nobody notices I finally lose weight when my body starts to rot I think maybe you're worrying a little too much besides, as far as I can tell, you look exactly the same what the heck? you're just saying that, I'm a total chub monster I'm a perfect circle no seriously, I'm not just saying that hmm. then I'm so hot? Well, I mean, uh, yeah. Um... Really? Then I might still make it out alive? Uh, yeah, I'm sure you'll make it out alive. <laughs> thank God, seriously, thank God. Okay. But I can't relax now. I'm making an official statement. As of right now, Aoi Asahina is on a diet. A diet? You got it! Just you watch. I'm gonna get so thin, it'll scare the crap out of you. Well... Don't overdo it, okay? Okay! Don't try and stop me. I've made up my mind. And my willpower is rock hard. And my and now my resolve is even more rock hard. You got it! But before all that, time to get stuffed on donuts, girl. <laughs> Almost before she was done talking, Hina took off like a bat out of hell. I'm not sure if dieting is really Hina's skill set. Really? There's more with Hina? Come on, man. Okay. Hiro, you're feeling pretty great. Thank you. Damn these aluminum cans. <laughs> um, secret book of poems. Paint. Oh, I definitely would paint. There was a lot in terms of... Uh, Need more watercolors. Greek statue. Sorry, how much do I need for this one again? Dirty. God. Yeah, this one's not happening either, but at the, at the very least, this time I will actually try. Alright, I need to raise you back from consciousness. <laughs> Nunzu bean! There we go. Watercolor paints. He's resting. Man, why does this lumen can so hard to get? Also, how many how many more of the I should check how many more of certain things I need. 
Okay, so I need way more music scores. Um, Greek statue. It's Lumen Cans. I think the main problem is not so much that I need the Lumen Cans, is that it's used for to make a Greek statue. I need three of them per per statue. I mean, we got, we have, do I need five people in the kitchen? Three people getting tree branches, two people in the art room, four people in the kitchen. Yeah, sure. Actually, do I want to switch him out with someone else? Okay, you can go in the kitchen. Toko Celeste. Who else like the the red costume Chihiro? Oh, I don't even need to talk to Chihiro though. Ifumi, Taka. I'm really surprised that Taka, Taka likes the chin the chin drill. Leon, Water Flutes, Pumis, what? Zold's Diamond, does anyone else like the Zold's Diamond? I don't want to give the same people the get same gift twice, but... I gave it to Celeste. Leon and Toko. So Toko likes this, will like the Soul's Diamond as well. Okay. Well, here's the hoping that I can just hand her the love status ring. As for me, I truly frightened myself to captivate even insignificant little creatures like yourself. Thanks, Celeste. And for that, I'm actually giving you a love status ring. <laughs> Interesting. The gods heard my prayer and my wish has been granted. Hmm. This is all because of my daily sympathy and compassion, is it not? As for me... Hello, Makoto. I must say I am quite troubled. Huh? How come? Indeed. I'd like you to teach me something. What? Actually... I want you to teach me how to play Shogi. Oh, uh, sorry. I don't know how to play either. Honestly. I see. You really are useless, aren't you? Okay, but I'm not surprised you don't know how to play. Is it because there's no, like, Shogi gambling circuit? Oh! Oh, there most certainly is. What? Really? Indeed. But it is all on the ground. It is rather shady, all things considered. I have tried my own hand at it, naturally. Wait, even though you don't know how to play... Are you okay with this? That is why I wish to learn. I place my pieces without even thinking. What on earth was I doing? 
and you still tried to win an underground shogi tournament? Try. Oh no, I didn't. You won? Hmm. I didn't really understand, but apparently my final opponent was infamously powerful. She was rather odd. She was a voluptuous woman who dressed an exotic French maid. But how did you win? <laughs> beginner's luck, perhaps. I don't think beginner's luck works in shogi. <laughs> Is that so? Yep, the more I learn about Celeste, the less I understand her. Damn it, she also has like... till six. Really from Celeste's fearsome past, I went back to my room. It's okay, we 100% Kyoko. That's all that matters. Um, this... Oh. Either that or it has to be items <laughs> that they, uh, that they will love. Which I am lacking completely in. It's a Greek statue. Yeah, okay, this is done for. We're done for. <laughs> the other thing? Paint. Alright, alright. Just because. We're not gonna get it, so just because. <laughs> we got all the tools. Again, I wish I... If I knew about this way beforehand, I would definitely try to be aiming to try to get these, because um, they definitely would have helped a lot. That said, I'm pretty sure that this is they, with the new game plus thing they, that they want you to go through. Okay, who is dead or dying? Sure, all in. Everyone? Nobody? Yeah. Interesting. I had no one cleaning. <laughs> Whoops. You feel me? You're good at it, right? Aluminum can integrated circuit. It's too bad I don't need more of the integrated circuit. I already got enough of it. Music score. See, even with so many people in the four people in the kitchen, this lumen can is being elusive. If I can get this Greek statue, I would be happy. Okay, the tree branches are going up like crazy. So much milk, my god. And four lumen cans. Wow, okay. I mean... Who can I spend this on? Let's 
See, I got a feeling that it's gonna be like items that they love, otherwise I won't be able to get the friendship thing. No wait, but then Celeste, I, that was an item she loved. So what else do I got? I mean, the problem is I have nothing else for Hina. I have items that, that Hina might like, but... Well, last is Shepard. Let's see, Hina, if I can give you the Hope's Peak <laughs> ring. Okay. <sighs> Although, no matter where we go, we're stuck in this stupid school. Okay, we walk aimlessly around the school. At this point, this is the only thing I got for her. Oh! Whoa, what is this? It's super cute! <laughs> for real? Are you sure you can- I can have this? I get the impression that she liked it, that's good. Um... Hey Makoto, can I talk to you for a sec? What's up? Hmm... I want to ask you something. Sure, what is it? Well... Oh, um... I mean... So, um... Can you just come to my room when you get the chance? Bye, LA! We're okay. gonna get a gold star, are we? Okay, I'll see you later. Better not stand me up. Without bothering to wait for a response, Hina ran off. What's going on with her? Inviting me to her room like this? She's acting really strange. Well, I don't have much choice, do I? I head to Hina's room like she asked. Hmm. Um, sorry. Sorry for making you come here. Oh, I don't mind, but what's going on? Um. I just want to ask you something. Will you promise to give me a real answer? Sure. Well... What do you think about me? Huh? I mean, as a woman. What do you mean? Hmm. What I'm trying to say is... Um... Do I have, you know, womanly charms? Well, I mean... Wait, where's all this coming from? People have always told me how I'm not ladylike. And I mean, I can't really disagree. I'm all... All I'm good at is sports, exercise, physical stuff. But I think maybe that's just because I've never actually been in love. Since I've never fallen in love, how can I say I'm a woman? So that's why, um... Um... I want you to be my boyfriend. Uh... Oh! No, no, I mean, not like my real boyfriend, just like a practice run. Practice run. Because, I mean... I'm not a woman because I've never been in love. And I can't fall in love because I'm not a woman. What? It's like a vicious cycle, you know? No, I, I don't really know. What are you talking about? Okay. So my strategy is, I'll do a practice run to draw out my feminine side. That way, I'll be in perfect position to fall in love. So I'm asking you, begging you to help me practice and pretend to be my boyfriend. But I mean, but... seriously? You're the only one I can ask, Makoto. I mean, how many other guy friends do I have? Please! Please, I I'm on my, ha my hands and knees here. I won't even take that long. It won't even take that long. And this seems really serious about this. Fine, I guess I can help for a little while. <laughs> you mean it. Alright. So, what am I supposed to do? Hmm. Oh, um, good question. Um... <laughs> well, whatever, let's just get started. Whatever? Okay. Okay, he here we go. Um... Oh, darling, you're home. Are you ready for dinner? Or should I get a bath going? Okay, this is not boy. This is not girlfriend boyfriend level. You're talking about married life. <laughs> Prom. If that, yeah. If the, wait, Hina. That's more like a stereotypical 1950 married couple than anything. Huh? Oh, different approach then. Hmm. Well. That's terrible. You lied to me. You said you left your wife. <laughs> that's even worse. Huh? Really? No way! You mean I can't even get a practice run right? Was that the fatal blow? Huh. Seriously, huh? what am I supposed to do? Just become that one crazy lady who gives up on love? Uh, hold on, let's dial it back. First of all, do you really need to go through all of this practice stuff? Cause, I mean... I told you, I'm not ladylike. Even if that's true, I'd say that's just part of your charm. Huh? If you push it and get all nervous, that's totally not you, right? 
Personally, I think you're fine just the way you are. Because, I mean, that's who you are. Huh? Makoto, and falling in love is supposed to be fun, right? If you're stressed out about it, where's the fun in that? I mean, not that I know anything about love either, so maybe that doesn't mean anything. Um... No, it does. If it's you saying it, it does mean something. Maybe you're right. I shouldn't push it. I should just be me. You got it! I just have to wait until I meet the right person, like Jason Statham. You have very specific tastes. I think you'll be waiting a while on that one. <laughs> anyway, thanks, Makoto. You'll definitely help. You, you've definitely helped lift that weight off my chest. On top of that, I kind of had fun practicing with you. I might ask you to help me again someday. No, I think that's enough practice for me. Yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> then if it wasn't practice. Uh, I'm kidding. Just, just, I'm just jerking you around. A joke, huh? Well, Dracona, I've definitely felt like I've gone close to Hina. After going through all this with her, I think I understand her a lot better. We've finally become friends mm. in the true sense of the word. So, what's your type, huh? What kind of girls are you into? Uh, don't worry about it. <laughs> oh, come on, don't get embarrassed. <laughs> and, yeah, go. Mystic Donut, that's her achievement. <laughs> You just unlocked ambidextrousness. <laughs> Alright. So, we completely failed the task of creating this next, next Monokuma device thing. There's a holiday? What? So today's the day, huh? I guess I better review everything one more time. Yeah, this is not happening. Damn this aluminum cans! Okay. Yep, I was halfway through the paints. Didn't get quite get close to halfway with the Greek statue. And the secret book of poems. Not even halfway yet. So yeah. <laughs> this is unacceptable. You better start taking this seriously. I know you can do better than this. Anyone could. Yes, indeed. Today is your weekly day off. Now then. Okay, this makes. Okay, so there's more. I thought that was my last chance. Who should we talk to? Who can I 100%? So we get two chances to talk to someone. Can probably try 100% Toko and Celeste. If I have items for them. What do I have for Toko and Celeste? That's the question. It's not gonna work. Zol's diamond ring. I think this can work with Toko. Yeah, so Toko apparently will like that. Uh, <laughs> I don't think the roller slippers would go for Celeste. Actually, I should just go down the list. I can't even get Celeste's stuff. Celeste... You don't have the roses anymore. Do I have anything for the Celeste besides the Zol's diamond ring? Antique doll. Apparently, yeah, no. Kyoko, da da da, Celeste, Celeste. Okay, I have no items for Celeste except for the 
Zold Diamond. Damn. Yeah, I definitely do not have tea. <laughs> um... Fumi, first a tea, sea salt, apparently we can give sea salt to no one actually, no one likes that. Junko, Chiro, Sakura. Yeah, I have quite a few items I can give to Tashiro, but at this point it's way too late. Um, okay, well we already gave left Zol's diamond ring. So I guess I'll try the 100% Toko. But I have nothing else to give Celeste. It's like the same thing every time. Okay. So let's give her the Zol's diamond ring. Is it a diamond? Yeah, Zol's diamond, sorry. What's your problem? It's really okay with me to have it. I'll take it. I'm not going to give it back. I get the impression that she liked it. That's good. <laughs> hey. Makoto, could you come to my room? Okay. What's your problem? I want to show you something. I'll be waiting there. It's not like her to just talk to someone so openly like that. And she wants me to come to her room? Well, I better do what she asked. I quickly made my way to Toko's room. <laughs> don't laugh like that, please. Stop. Thanks for coming. Ah! But don't get the wrong idea. I didn't ask you here for anything like that. If you lay a hand on me, I'll bite my own tongue off and choke on my blood till I'm dead. Trust me, that's not gonna happen. Wait, what's going on? You said you had something you wanted to show me. <laughs> I was hoping you would read this. Toko handed me a massive stack of thick paper. What's in the book? I saw handwriting on the top sheet, neat letters packed close together. Is this? What's your problem? I took your advice and started writing. I wanted to be the first one to read it. I want you to be the first one to read it. Thanks? I started scanning the text. A few seconds later, I was still reading. The words kept flowing into my head, the scenery unfolding before my very eyes. It's good. This is really good, Toko. I don't know if I've ever read anything this, this good. <laughs> it's pretty good, right? But it's really dark. Super dark. Reading it kind of makes me want to die. <laughs> You know what they call the type of writing where the author has directly experienced the subject matter? It's a kind of naturalistic style popular in Japan. Katai Tayafma's Futon started it all. Novels that use the author's own experience, I'm pretty sure I've learned about that at some point. <laughs> I don't know. It's... isn't that called Build... Dung's Roman? I think I learned that in school. Oh, well. Totally wrong. Bill Dung's Roman places an emphasis on the protagonist's self of self-formation and self-discovery. For example, Hermes is Her Her Herman Hesse's Beneath the Wheel, or Gios, Wilhelm Meister's Apprentice. Oh, I see. <laughs> did you did you just sit in class memorizing the, the words, but with no idea what they meant? I bet you did. <laughs> But I'm sure you learned the other type of novel. Are you talking about... I novel? <laughs> Correct. Mine's still in the work in progress, though. As soon as, as it's finished... I'm it's telling you! It's going to become a shocking masterpiece that will change the face of the I novel forever. You might care, she might actually be right about that. She said it's definitely some dark, heavy stuff, but it's the kind of thing you just can't put down. It will be a masterpiece, I have no doubt about that. <laughs> and it's all thanks to you, Makoto. Thanks to you, I... I'm just so embarrassed. 
I'll express my appreciation in the form of a poem. A poem? <sighs> On the locked and rusted door, I dug my nails in and dragged them down. Warm blood mixed with old rust, flowing down my wrist, coils like a snake, embracing my body. You watch me, a smile in your eyes. You watch. Time runs away, and you with it. You lead me drowning in a red sea. <laughs> now, do you understand how I feel? God, I hope not. <laughs> but if it makes her happy, that's all that matters. Can I say that's because I finally start to understand her, even if only a little bit? <laughs> so, that's it for n now. You've helped me find my motivation. Now I have to do my best to bring the story to an end. And when there's someone there to support me for that... What's your problem? That's what you call a friend, right? Friend. I've never imagined I'd hear Toko say that word. But yes, Toko and I had finally become true friends. <laughs> now get up before you decide to lunch for me after all. Okay, well... Toko kicked me out of her room so I head back to my own. So what more is there left? Alright, we can spend some time. I mean... I can talk- I can give Spiakia some stuff. Leon? No, I don't have anything for Leon. Cause you like anything gold, right? What? Do you intend to follow me wherever I go? God, grant me patience. I refuse to get discouraged. I spent some time with Yakia. Sure, we grew a little closer. Okay, so... Where is it? Where is it? Here we go. I see. Now this is a rare moment. Coming from a noble family, I've never been exposed to such vulgarity. Interesting. I think I'll keep it. Seeing Byakuya so pleased with something I gave him makes me happy. <laughs> Listen, Makoto, I want to ask you something. What could Byakuya want to talk to me about? I have a bad feeling about this. Oh, I'm um, sure. What's up? <laughs> you know, only a chosen few, perhaps 1% of us, are able to succeed So in, in other words... For the other 99%, their dreams never come true. Some never even have a dream in the first place. Spending every waking hour toiling to scrape together a meager living, just barely getting by. What? I just don't understand it. Is there any meaning to a life like that? Why are you asking me? <laughs> because you're part of the 99%, of course. Why did you even feel the need to ask? I knew he was going to insult me somehow. <laughs> Up until now, I've never been around anyone like that, so I'm interested. So tell me, how does it feel to live a life without hope? Without potential or ambition or dreams. Come on. I don't have ambitions or dreams. I never... I never felt that way about myself. I mean, sure, maybe I'll never be as rich as you or anything, but... Do you have to go around saying that to everyone? Can you only be happy by being better than others? <laughs> Your complaints are as old and tired as a third-rate pop song from any generation. And yet those words... Those are the words of the 99%. That is how you find comfort in your tiny, cold little world. Stop saying stuff like that. <laughs> Sorry, I cannot... I can't not speak the truth. No matter how much you push and struggle, people like you will never be in position to change the world. You could all disappear tomorrow and nothing could, would change. Your existence is of no consequence. Whether that's true or not, it doesn't matter. Even if you live a totally normal, unimportant life, you can still find happiness in that. If I can live a life that I'm satisfied with, that's all that matters. I spend all my time comparing my life to other people. If I spent all my time comparing my life to other people's, I'd never be happy. Sure, maybe you can do that. You were guaranteed success from the day you were born, so... What? Hold on. From the day I was born? You have no idea. You don't have a clue of what you're talking about. What? What? Those who are chosen from birth have no concept of what that truly means. I've gone to battle and emerge victorious. That is why I am the Chosen. What are you talking about? <sighs> You're spoiled, all of you. Running away into a world of self-indulgence. Battle, competition, rivalry. You run away from it all. 
That is why the 99% walk the path that they do. Such ignorance. Good God, your absolute lack of understanding makes me want to weep. After sharing a surprising amount of emotion, Byakuya quickly made his exit. The heck on to him. He was, totally, he was acting totally normal up until, up until I said something about being guaranteed success from the day he was born. I don't know why that set him off. Envious influence. I couldn't stop thinking about what Byakia, thinking about Byakia when while I went back to my room. Huh. Okay. Uh. What? The final day of your precious, carefree school life has arrived. I don't <laughs> believe it. Whether that makes me want to jump for joy or weep till you die, doesn't matter, this is it! <laughs> so for the rest of the day, do your very tippy toppy best! Okay. Well, now here's a question. Who can I... Excuse me. either... I can continue talking with Byakuya. Four. So either we're one or two ways away from him. Oh yeah, we're not. Okay, so let's stick with Byakuya. I. Sorry, I need to check what presents. What other presents I have? Is that worth Country Hero? Golden Airplane. Oh, and then apparently this is works with Byakuya as well. So I do have two items. Okay, we can 100% hit then. What would you like to do with Byakuya today? Let me just double check quickly. Because I want to make sure that these either these items are, can only work with him. I think the old time radio is the only one where he loves it. And the golden airplane. Jinko, Hiro, Hiro, really? And Byakuya. Okay, let's go with the old time radio then. In the meantime, let's take a drink of my Okay. So I don't know how far down the line this is, so... Ah. Here we go. This is... You... You bastard! How did you get your hands on this? Even the collective forces of the entire Gotagami Corporation wouldn't be enough to obtain this gem. Naturally. I... I'm going to hold on to this. See, Byakuya is so pleased with something I gave him makes me happy. <laughs> a bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. Huh? What? It's a proverb. It means if you can only obtain something inferior, that's still better than longing for something better. Yeah, I know what it means, but so what? So in other words... Put another way. If all you have nearby is a loser, that's better than a proper assistant far away. <laughs> Makoto, be my secretary. What? A useless commoner like you could never hope to earn more than, say, $100,000 a year. But as my secretary, you would be guaranteed an ample salary and job security for the rest of your life. And in honor of it being my birthday today, how about I multiply your already impossible expectation by, oh, 5.5. Okay. I don't want to do math. Wait, okay. So 5.5... One decimal place, that's... Yeah. Am I reading this right? $550,000? That's like... board member money. What? Of course, as my secretary, you wouldn't be... a mere servant. At some point, I would want you to become an actual assistant, taking the lead on important projects. 
assuming you produce acceptable results. You could even become a core part of the Chigami Corporation. So in other words... You have no reason to refuse. This is also sudden. I don't get why, but he seems serious about this. Still, I... Sorry, but I'm gonna have to say no. I'm trying to give you a chance to enter the battlefield of life and claim victory. Most commoners will never get that chance. This is literally a one in a lifetime opportunity. Who has died so far? This is actually the the extra game, the Dangan Academy. So right now I'm just trying to fill people's report cards, but the main game has already been played. Do you understand? This is your chance. This is your one and only chance to rise above the 99%. So that's it. Are you really so scared of having to fight to compete in order to win? It's not that I'm scared, it's that I want to succeed based on my own effort. I want to find my own battlefield. I don't want to hand it to me, I want to earn it. I want to find something I'm willing to fight and die for. That's the only way I'll be satisfied. Nen, you meant what you said earlier. That if you can live a life that you're satisfied with, that's all that matters. I see. I'm glad to see you passed my test. Uh, your test? Naturally. That's right. The mere thought of someone like you as my secretary makes me physically ill. Wait, so then... What? That salary offer still stands, of course. It's yours if you want it. I don't need you spreading rumors that Byakuya Togami doesn't honor his... So he basically... So he basically be paying me to do nothing? In a way, I almost regret my decision. Hm. But I must say, I just don't understand you. You don't want to fight, and yet you don't flee from the battle either. It's like I said, for me, happiness comes from living the life I want to live. <laughs> easy, easy enough to say. <laughs> now you have to enforce your will until the very end. <laughs> if you can do that, if you can make it to the end, I'm afraid I'll be forced to acknowledge you. And that's exactly what I'll do. Someday, absolutely. <laughs> I don't expect much from you, but I'll be waiting. Okay. And then, now we can give the golden airplane and hopefully... That means I will 100% the report card for him. What would you like to do with Byakuya? What? Do you intend to fall? Okay, yeah, this is the same. So some dialogue just gets uh, reused. If you're a little closer. Okay, so let's go from the bottom up. And give him the golden airplane. This is. <laughs> How'd you get your hands? It's even okay. So, same dialogue. How do you still not understand? Understand what? <laughs> I've been sacrificing all this valuable time of mine for your sake, but it's all amounted to nothing. We simply have nothing to talk about. Not possible. We could talk forever in a day, and I wouldn't gain nothing from it. But the more we come to understand each other, you and I will never understand each other. We live in a different world, our ways of life, our ways of thinking are total, totally incompatible. You're a loser, so go ahead and live your loser life. Make a bunch of loser friends. Then together, you can lick each other's loser wounds. You don't have to keep saying loser. That's enough. Whether your self-indulgence is a lie or not, it doesn't matter. Whatever happens, I'm going to keep on fighting, and I'm going to keep on winning. That's right. That's one thing that will never change. But having to win all the time, doesn't that make your life kind of hard? <laughs> Such is the fate of the Chosen. The Chosen. Listen, I've been meaning to ask you. You keep on talking about the Chosen. What does that actually- what does that mean, actually? The way you say it, it seems a lot heavier than how I'd normally think of it. That's fine. Fine. If I'm going to waste my time with you anyway, I may as well explain this one last time. I'll tell you how I became known as the ultimate affluent progeny. There's a story behind that. So in other words... It has to do with the secret to the Tagami's family's prosperity. Our success comes from our family's rather 
peculiar inheritance system. Peculiar inheritance? What do you mean? <laughs> you see, our family head never takes a wife. Rather, he couples with exceptional women the world over in order to bear as many children as possible. Yep, that, that is a definitely all over the world. Hmm. They then make the children compete, and only one can come out on top. And whoever it is earns the right to become the next head of the family. You mean you had to fight your own brothers and sisters? That's right. For my battle, there were 15 of us in total. Yeah, oh my god. When all was said and done, only one was still standing. The youngest brother, me. <laughs> In the entire history of the Togami family, the youngest male had never won. Jeez, that sounds brutal. It also explains your eye color and hair color. Can't even imagine something like that. What? So now, you, do you understand? I won my title in open combat. That is how I became the ultimate affluent progeny. I was not born into greatness. I had to earn it. In other words... I put my life on the line, and I earned the right to be called... to be called the Chosen. You put your life on the line, then what about your siblings? Shh. Dead. <laughs> yeah, okay. Dead? Stop talking. I don't mean that literally, of course. They become dead to the family, unfit for the name of Togami. <laughs> of course, for them it really is like death. They're forced to become one of the 99%, one of you. It must be really, must have been really hard, right? Hmm. You can't even imagine. Which is why the survivor is recognized as the chosen. When you take over as the head of the family, all the weight of the family comes to rest on your shoulders. So in other words... That is how dedicated I am. I am forever dedicated to keep on winning. And so I shall. Hmm. How does family work though? If that is how the family works, then technically... Like, the brothers and sisters aren't in the picture, so literally it's just your father and your grandfather, and that's it. If there are no wives. <laughs> that's, uh, okay. Either way, so the family legacy is on your shoulders, not the family, because that is a small family. Otherwise, I would feel only pity for those I'd already defeated. Byakuya pretty much said he carries the weight of always having to win. Winning comes natural to him. <laughs> All I'll say at this point is that I'm going to win this game too. It's been a long time since I've had so much fun. I need to get as much enjoyment out of it as possible. Don't make me repeat myself. And in the end, I will stand victorious. I won't lose to the mastermind or you or anyone else. Even as the rest of you fall one by one, I will live and I will win. In the name of my family. As long as my name is Byakuya Togami. The finality of his statement left no room for doubt or question. Nobody but Byakuya could talk that way and sound so convincing. But because it's him, it seems impossible that maybe that is... But because it's him, it seems possible that maybe that is his fate. Honestly, the more I talk to him, the more I see how far apart we are. At the same time, I feel like I understand him that much more. At least, I think I do. Goodbye. Now let me be crystal clear. We no longer have anything to talk about. Do not come to me like this again. Goodbye, loser. Can't imagine any way Byakuya and I could ever become friends in this lifetime. Okay. But we did get an achievement for that, so... Okay, this should be the last day, which we did not make all that many Monokuma things. The morning of the 51st day arrived, and Monokuma told us all to head to the gym. Well now, so the day has come just as promised. Yeah. And I've discovered that you don't have any motivation at all. How strange. You didn't complete one single backup. Your teacher feels nothing but betrayal. Hey, um... I thought I'd make myself clear. But I suppose I need to say this one more time. Unbelievable. Until I have a proper backup, your real school life can't begin. Yes, indeed. So this is going to keep on going. Keep on going? Wah wah? Why do you sound so surprised? Yeah. I just told you to finish the backup by the 50th day. I never said it would end on that day. <laughs> Get ready to greet another beautiful day. So apparently, Monokuma is going to keep us... Keep, uh, make us keep on living like this until we make a backup he's happy with. And we can start our 
And we can't start our real school life until we do. When the hell are we going to get out of here? <laughs> you should be thanking me, Yona. Okay, is this just... Okay, yeah, so that was the ending. No, that was not the true ending, really. Um... So yeah, so I assume now that thrills, chills, kills. Okay, so apparently there is a new game plus mode or whatever. Sorry, I'm just trying to see. Thrills, chills, kills. So I don't know if, if continue just well it's just gonna start us off on a very new day or whatever. Um, that said, I think I'm gonna end it here with the uh, the Danganronpa Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc, specifically Danganronpa Academy. In the meantime, I was able to get a lot from various report cards. But I think it's still Mondo and Hero I still need to get. Either way, so if you complete. If you 100% the 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 all the back Monokuma backups, and then if you are able to get enough school field trips to to um to raise their friendship level in the with the school trip stuff, then there's like also this thing at the end at the end of the 51st day that I read about. Same time, it's going to be like forever and. Gameplay-wise, there really isn't much to it. Most of it was... This, in the end, was me just trying to get 100% the report card. Or what I could. Um, but yeah, so... At this point... Livestream Sundays... Will be done. If I do... Well, I do have the other... Other... Danganronpa games. But I think I will follow the livestream format of... Have live streaming on Sunday and a Tuesday or Thursday considering how long the games are. But we will be moving on to regular Let's Plays or whatever. I'll have to figure out what I'm going to play after this. Or maybe take a break. I definitely, my voice needs a break right now. <laughs> so either way, this is the end for Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc. Thank you for liking if you like. Thank you for commenting if you commented. Thank you for subscribing if you subscribed. Thank you for favoriting if you favorited. Thank you for simply clicking on this video. Until next time, guys. See ya!